We are joined now by once upon a time, maybe the world's most popular wrestler. Now maybe the world's most hated wrestler. We have to talk about that. It's very controversial because I still like him a lot. I've talked to him a number of times. He is the universal champion. He is headlining Royal Rumble. I would argue the biggest event of the year. And you can see him tonight on SmackDown. He's my friend Roman Reigns. Roman, it's Nick. Good to talk to you again. How are you? I'm doing well, Nick. How are you, man? I'm doing, I'm doing great. I said before, we're going to bounce around here a bit, that I understand WrestleMania is the crown jewel event on the calendar. But as a wrestling yep. fan, there's something always special about Royal Rumble because it has, well, this is going to sound silly, but it has the Royal Rumble. And it's a once a year event where you have that special circumstance. 30 guys in, the winner obviously gets to fight at WrestleMania. For you, you know, coming up through the ranks, and then going into this weekend, how special is that this specific pay-per-view, this specific uh, event compared to the other things on the calendar? Well, I think you hit it on the head. You know, I think we, you know, from an annual standpoint, we provide so many things for our, our fans to be, uh, you know, excited for. Um, some, you know, I think it's without question, WrestleMania is our biggest event, but when you do it 52 weeks out of the year, you have to continue to provide special events for your fans. And that's what we do. And the Royal Rumble is a great example of that. Um, and the, the Rumble, man, it's special for me. You know, I, I've won it uh, before in the past. Uh, I've been in the, I think, you know, the top two, like the second guy, I guess, I guess you would say the loser of the match, um, you know, at yeah. the very end uh, multiple times, but you know, that's a great responsibility uh, to, to see, you know, that winner to be able to push him forward to, uh, you know, the biggest event of the year, WrestleMania, um, and to put him on that path. Uh, it's a great responsibility as a performer. Um, so, you know, and I've had some really good individual matches as well um, along the way. Um, but I'm looking to, uh, you know, do something special and, uh, you know, change the game uh, in, two, in two nights. So let's talk about this. By the way, of course, on the WWE Network Sunday night, you're going to be able to see the Royal Rumble and you're going to take on Kevin Owens there. But tonight on SmackDown on Fox, you're going to be there as well. G can you talk, tell me a little bit about what people can maybe expect tonight and then also a little bit about what you expect in your match against Kevin Owens on Sunday? Uh, tonight, you know, you never really know when it comes to Kevin Owens. You, you never know if it's going to be uh, a war of words or it's going to be a dogfight. So I, you're going to have to tune in and see uh, exactly how I torture Kevin Owens, but uh, one one thing I really want to get a point uh, <laughs> get across is I, I want I want to make the point so he understands what he's stepping into that he you know sometimes he's a bit delusional he's a tough guy uh, and and he's a very resilient guy so sometimes you you have to really spell it out to people like that that he's not the best you know I, I hold the spot I'm the Universal Champion I'm the head of the table I'm the Tribal Chief of WWE for a reason. I've been doing this for years, uh, you know, at, at a very high level, at an elite level. Um, and tonight's just another great opportunity for me to prove that to him, to make him understand why I am who I am, why I am the universal champion, uh, the top champion of WWE. Uh, and if he just doesn't get it from there, I'm going to have to be, beat it into him on Sunday. Uh, Roman, you do a lot of great work with LLS, the Leukemia, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. That obviously is famously a big part of your story. Yeah, um, you know, when I, whenever I made my announcement, I had to take my leave from WWE um, a couple of years ago. Um, LLS was one of the first uh, organizations to reach out to me um, to kind of, you know, offer their, um, you know, their help and 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 uh, anything that they they anything that I needed pretty much to just tap into their resources. Um, so once I was, uh, you know getting my health back in order and I, I, you know, reached a clearance to get back to work. That was the first thing that I wanted to do was partner up with LLS. Um, and we, um, you know, we started out um, just working with them and trying to bring awareness to LLS and, um, you know, get people, you know, to, uh, you know, check them out at LLS.org. And that was the crazy part is, you know, they've raised, you know, billions of dollars, you know, millions and millions and millions of dollars, but they just did not have, uh, the outreach, um, you know, the, uh, the, the awareness that they needed and, you know, being with WWE, having this platform, a global platform, it just made sense to try to pay it forward and, and help out people who are in a similar struggle that I was. Um, and then after about a year, the 
children's uh, initiative uh, was developed and we have really started to focus in on helping children who are dealing with blood cancers um, because, you know, being that it's blood cancer, it's one of the easier um, forms of cancer to research and, and develop because it's it's easier, it's far easier to obtain blood um, than to actually get to a tumor, you know, things like that. So, you know, quite, you know, huge advancements as far as medicines and, uh, you know, pushing that research uh, for adults, but for children, you know, I think it was like over 40 different medications that came out for for blood cancer for adults, but maybe like under five for children. And being that they're children, you know, these drugs and these medications are, are far more harsh, you know, on their bodies and they have, you know, longer lives to live, obviously. So we wanted to do as much as we could to take care of them um, and, and try to continue that research and really put the spotlight on on our youth. That way we can help as many, you know, as many, uh, you know, of our leaders and our heroes of the future as we can. Um, and they've done so many things uh, with, uh, you know, being in the pandemic and helping out um, all, all the, uh, you know, blood cancer patients um, going through, you know, their recovery with Within, within, you know, this COVID-19 era, I'm going through this pandemic because as we all know, life doesn't stop. You know, we're, we're still living, we're still struggling, we're still going through our day-to-day -day stuff. People are still getting sick outside of COVID um, and we still need to have that, that help, that helping hand um, to be able to, you know, um, provide that research and, and, and take care of, uh, you know, our patients as they're trying to heal. So uh, I, I please, you know, I say this, please go check out LLS.org support them because they do so much for so many different families, uh, you know, going through this struggle. That's awesome. And obviously it's where your heart is. It's where part of your story is. And you are a great spokesman for the work that organization does. That's LLS.org. Tonight, you can see Roman Reigns on SmackDown on Fox. Sunday night, you can see him battle Kevin Owens, the Royal Rumble. Roman, hopefully when the world gets back to normal a bit, next time you're in New York, we can sit down in person. I appreciate you as always. It's always a good time talking to you. Uh, good luck. Not that you'll need it, but good luck. And I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you, Roman. Nick, thank you, man. Thanks for having me. Be safe, buddy. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.